Most of us have heard the common expression, don't judge a book by its cover, which basically means that you cannot determine the value of something based merely upon its appearance. Now this saying has roots back into the early 1900s, but I believe that we can relate this saying back to Jesus in Matthew 7 and verse 21, where he says, Not everyone who saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus then told them to depart, because he never knew them. But why would Jesus say this? Well, friends, it's because Jesus is our judge, and he looks at our hearts and our motives, and not just at our actions. Jesus provides us with some background for his statement, which will help us to understand the basis for which we will receive his judgment. In Matthew 7, verses 15 and 16, he begins by warning about false prophets coming in and teaching in sheep's clothing, but inside are ravenous wolves. Jesus tells us that we can see their true motives by what they are doing and not just by what they are saying. He uses the terminology, you will know them by their fruits. Paul also warns us that we will all appear before the judgment seat of Christ and answer for our deeds, 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 10. Another common saying that we often hear is actions speak louder than words. If you were to tell someone that you were a Christian, would they be convinced just by your words? Well, what about your actions? Would anyone believe you based upon what they see in you? Well, a better question would be, do you need to tell someone that you are a Christian? Or would they be able to figure that out simply based upon the way they see you living your life? We all make judgments based upon not only what someone says, but more often what someone does. Christ expects us to work and to bear fruit. He told a parable in Luke 13 verses 6 through 19 regarding a fig tree that did not bear fruit for three consecutive years. He instructed the man that was caring for the vineyard to cut it down and not waste that space anymore. However, Jesus is also patient. And when the man caring for the vineyard requested a little more time to help the tree bear fruit, this was granted to him. But it was not an infinite amount of time. Jesus expects us to bear fruit without any exceptions, and we will be judged based upon those fruits. But if we return back to Matthew chapter 7 and verse 21, we now can understand that Jesus will not solely judge us based upon our actions. He was not condemning them for the things that they were doing in his name. He was condemning them for why they were doing the things that they did. He said, I never knew you. Jesus was looking into their hearts for their motives and their attitude. Where was their love for Christ? Where was their relationship with Christ? Were they just doing things without understanding why? Were they doing these things with the heart of a servant? Or were they just going through these tasks like they had done under the old law? Well, evidently, they were not doing these things for the reasons that Jesus wanted. Otherwise, he would not have condemned them for what they were doing. In Romans 2 and verse 16, Paul tells us that Jesus will be judging us based upon our secrets according to the gospel. He knows the thoughts of our heart, which means he knows our true motives when we do things. It is the motives and principles of a man that make up his character, and true impartial justice only will come when the motives are determined for our actions. Therefore, when Jesus judges us, he will be looking beyond our actions to determine what is really the driving force, what is driving our efforts in our hearts. And we can rest assured that judgment is coming and that Jesus will be our judge according to Acts 10 and verse 42. But also, we can take comfort in the knowledge that he is going to be a righteous judge because he does not seek his own but the will of the Father, John 5 and verse 30. Now is this a scary thought that you will be judged by your secrets? by your thoughts and your motives and not just by your actions? 
Who won't tremble at the judgment throne of Jesus if their heart is not right? But if our heart is right, what a comforting thought that Jesus, our Savior and Redeemer, will also be my Jesus, my judge. Because we know that we will be judged fairly. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today and have a blessed day.